There could be a big change coming to the world of drones in the UK. The Civil Aviation Authority has proposed a brand new classification system, one designed specifically for UK skies. If these changes go ahead as planned in 2026, we'll see the end of the EU's CE-based drone classes and the start of a completely new system. Now this new system, it includes remote ID, geo-awareness and clearer flight rules for everyone. So let's take a look at what might be coming from UK 0 to UK 6 and what these classes could mean for you and your drone. Hey up, my name's Jamie. Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, whatever it is for you right now. I hope you're well. How am I? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. So let's start with UK Zero, toy drones and lightweight flyers. UK Zero is expected to cover toy drones and ultra lightweight hobby drones under 250 grams. Typically those with no or very basic cameras. If the proposed rules are confirmed, only those under 100 grams and without a camera would be free from remote ID. They're drones like your, your Rise Tello, uh, the Potensic A20 and uh, Ichin uh, Mini drones. If your toy drone has a camera and weighs over 100 grams, it might need remote ID by 2028, but that is still under review. Let's move on, UK1, sub 250 gram camera drones. Now these are lightweight drones that include cameras, perfect for hobbyists and casual content creators. If the rules are adopted, these will need remote ID and geo awareness by 2026. Uh, they'd also be allowed to fly over people under limited circumstances. So that's your types of your DJI Mini 4 Pro, uh, the Mini 3 and the Mini 3 Pro and the Autel Evo Nano Plus, that sort of drone. UK 2, drones under one kilogram. Now this class covers drones over a kilo, uh, more capable with better cameras and wind resistance. Um, if the new framework is introduced, these will need remote ID, geo-awareness and operator training to fly near people. So that's like your DJI Air 3, uh, the Air 2S, the Autel Evo Lite Plus and the Parrot Anafi. Ooh, fancy. UK3, drones under four kilograms. So drones in this class are used for commercial photography, uh, mapping and inspections. If approved, the new rules would allow UK3 drones to operate further from people and they'd require remote ID, geo-awareness and stricter operational separation. So your Mavic 3 Pros, your Phantom 4 Pro and the Evo 2 Pro, them sort of meaty drones. Now, UK4, this is the model aircraft and club flyers. Now somebody did leave a comment on a previous video when I was going through the uh, proposed rule changes and everything on a previous video and they did ask about uh, fixed winged aircraft. So this could apply to them. The so UK4 model aircraft and club flyers. Now the UK4 is designed for model aircraft uh, usually flown at clubs or approved sites. If the approved changes go through, many UK4 flyers would remain exempt from remote ID when flying under a club authorization like Article 16. Uh, so, you know, your traditional RC planes, uh, gliders and sailplanes, uh, warbirds and scale models. UK5. Standardised commercial operations. UK5 would support standard scenario flights like infrastructure surveys or agricultural mapping under the specific category. If implemented, these drones will almost certainly require remote ID and defined safety systems. 
We're talking your big drones now, like your Matrix 30, uh, your Anafi USA, uh, the, the Wing Tra 1 Generation 2, you know, the, the decent big ones. UK6, privately built and legacy drones. A UK6 would apply to older drones or custom built models that don't fit into the new manufacturing classes. If confirmed, any drone over 100 gram with a camera in this group would need to comply with remote ID by 2028. So, you, you know, that's like it says, privately built and legacy drones. So custom first person view drones, uh, DJI F450 and the F550 builds and older models like the Phantom 3, the GoPro Karma. There's, uh, there's a few others. So I'll put a, uh, a little infographic thing on the screen at the minute and that's uh, just a little table that gives you a quick breakdown um, uh, if the new rules go ahead. At the time of recording, uh, these classes aren't final, uh, but they give us a clear direction of where drone flying in the UK might be heading. So whether you're building a custom rig or filming the valleys, a uh, golden hour, beautiful time out in the moors, you can't beat it. I did bring my drone with me today. I have the DJI Mini 4K. Uh, she did have a little boo-boo with a tree, uh, so I had to send her off for repair, and I have her back now, all fixed and wonderful, but it's just, I'm up in the moors in the middle of nowhere, and it is absolutely blowing a gale today, so it's, I can't fly her, sadly. She is good in the wind, but, I'm not going to risk any more damage <laughs> to my drone. No chance. So yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be worth preparing now, just in case these rules do go ahead. Well, I hope that you did find something uh, useful on the, uh, on the new possible class system coming for, for the UK, moving away from the EUCE marks. Now on your drone, if you want to see uh, where, the, where the mark is and everything, it's usually engraved somewhere in the bottom of your drone near the battery. Like my drone, the Mini 4K, it's got the little open up battery compartment. If you open that, there's a sticker inside and that's where you'll see the CEU mark. Um, so yes, yeah, so when these all go ahead, the drones will be shipped with that and I believe there will be some more information coming soon of anything that we have to do as drone operators to either reclass the drone or have something else that's stuck to the drone, you know, like another sticker or something. I'll keep you updated on that. When I find out more information on that, I will certainly let you know. Well, I'm going to get out of here now because it looks blue behind me there, but it is black over there. <laughs> so I think it's time to hoof off. I hope you enjoyed and uh, yeah, if you don't mind, give us a like, consider subscribing and that's, that's all for this one. So for now, my name's Jamie, I'm your Yorkshire Walker and I'm out. Peace. Catch you on the next one. <laughs>